Hi everyone, I'm Pete Conanan, a medical doctor from the Philippines. So, for today's episode, we will be talking about another board review series. So, this is my personal journey about my physician licensure examination back in September 2019. I would like to take this opportunity to give thanks to Dr. Michael Dizon, our college secretary from Angeles University Foundation School of Medicine, for giving me um, this opportunity and sharing my story and sharing my experiences and my journey on how I passed the physician licensure examination. So, if you want to see more of this video, please keep on watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of videos like this, click on the notification bell so you will be notified once I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's get to it. So for this episode, Physician Licensure Examination for the takers of September or March 2021-2022, whoever is watching this that is preparing for the exam, I hope you learn a thing or two from this video. I am Dr. Faith Janelle Kunanan. I graduated Bachelor of Science in Nursing in 2014 from Angeles University Foundation. I also took Doctor of Medicine from the same university in 2018, passed the Physician Licensure Examination in September 2019, and I'm currently a medical practitioner and a licensed physician. So for my board examination tips 101, so this quote from Dr. Francis Paul Hagolino, he said that there is no shortcut to success. If you want to be the best, you have to sweat and bleed more than others. You have to go the extra mile in bettering yourself while others sleep you should still be studying trust me it works so i remember that during the first day of our medical school we were already told that not all of us will become doctors it was a really tough love from the beginning and until now i think that that was uh, one of the reasons why we became better people moving forward for my board examination tips 101 so, these are some of the medical doctors who will be taking their board examination this September 2021 and I was given this opportunity by Dr. Michael Dizon to give an inspirational talk for the board takers. So I know how it felt like being in your position, the fear, the anxious, and the worries. I was also looking for people who can guide me and give me a glimpse of how it was. And now, paying it forward, I hope that this uh, little trip down the memory lane can help you in one way or another. And I hope sometime, you too can do it for others, especially your juniors, clerks, or interns to reach their goals in becoming licensed medical doctors. So may we all be kind and keep in our hearts uh, what our alma mater AUF made us to be. Maging mabuti, magaling at may malasakit sa kapwa. So for the preparation for the board examination, um, I had this interview from Dr. Chinoy MD. So this I was taught already even during my pre-med years in nursing. The very first day that you started your medical career in our school is the very first day that you prepared for the board examination. So that was what was in my mind during that time. Every time I was lazy to study or if I had so many backlogs to study on. So my motivation back then was that what if this comes out in the board examination and I did not know about this, then I'm bound to fail. So during clinicals or in clerkship and internship, when opportunities come, what if in the future I encounter this case or this patient and I did not study about it, then how can I heal my patient? Those were my driving forces back then that kept me going. So when to start? Did you finish or cover everything? So as early as now, you should know that you will not be able to finish everything, but make sure to cover and finish something. So that was my goal back then, focusing on a material and being able to finish it. So rather than bombarding yourself with multiple sources, just narrow down um, what to read. So since how many days na lang prior to the PLE September 2020, uh, there will come a point na may isip mo na ang dami mo pang hindi alam and you would want to go back to read on everything but just remember to remain steady where your feet are and work to change to the present rather than fearing the future. No? So 
may isip mo na sana nag-aral na lang ako ng internship. So worry not, normal lang yon. Kalma lang and carry on. Work in the now, do not fear about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. This was my life first. Then I remember during comprehensive examination and took it with me until the board examination. So we have so many worries and anxieties but have faith in God, in yourself and of course in your batch that all of you can do it. They say that when we pray, we have to be specific with what we want. And during the entirety of my PLA journey, my prayer every time was for our batch to have 100% passing rate, no more, no less. So simply as that, I did not drop names nor specify each person. I just prayed each night at 9pm that during my novenas for 100% for our batch, yeah. So we can no longer change the past, remove those that have um, happened, what ifs, and sana in your mind, work on what you can do now for yourself. Since mega enjoy ako noong internship, for the review for position licensure examination, I can say that I was really hard on myself. So if we want something, it should be paired with great perseverance and determination. This is the only time that you will be taking the PLE, so why give 1% less from that 100%? Let go of yesterday, let today be a new beginning, and be the best that you can. You'll get to where God wants you to be. But we have our different journeys, and I want you to find your comfort and path as well on how you will handle it. So we are just here to give you a glimpse of what we experienced. On how I did find, I planned it backwards. So starting from two weeks from PLE 2019, I jot down the subjects and the time of when I will be taking the examination. So what should I be accomplishing going to those days? I am a planner, structured, and scheduled type of learner. So when my anxiety becomes lessened when I do this. But whichever works for you, okay naman. I also included here uh, the prayer I keep in my mind. So this uh, one from Philippians 4.13 and uh, Philippians 4.6-7. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace. This one is my favorite. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And this um, St. Joseph of Pertino prayer. This is a prayer um, before the examination. So I repeat this every time before I review. So you might see this schedule of mine as a very steep and toxic one. But this gave me a sense of direction to what I should be accomplishing. So dealing with backlogs, it can really be overwhelming. And this schedule I made, which I patterned and learned from my seniors, how I scheduled the subjects from my weaknesses and strengths. Mind you, I did not finish everything. This schedule was very flexible. More of guide lang siya that I should be moving forward instead of sticking to one subject or handout I could not finish. These were my review handouts back then. I focused on the top-notch uh, main handouts. For my study habits or learning strategies, so, know if you have to study alone or study in groups. Know your study habit. So, what we learned, we tried to study in groups. But as they passed by, we were more productive studying on our own. So, whenever we convene to eat or have some kind of brainstorming, dun na yung pumapasok yung asking of questions, clarifying the things that you did not understand while studying on your own. So, know what works for yourself and from where you can learn more from. Ito yung original setup namin ng mga study bodies ko. But it turned out to be like this. So, as you can see, you can ask each other if ever you have questions or there is something that you do not understand. But as we go along, since we knew our study style, no, my study style is through studying alone, writing notes, reading lectures, very traditional type of learner. So I could not really study with music on or when the place is loud. And I could not retain information when 
many people around me are talking. So I had this tiny space in the room where I study and talk to myself repeatedly for the information I need to remember. I also had motivational wall with my pictures and the pictures of my family na half hour lang na kapitikit kasi di ko na matake kaharap yung mukha ko while reviewing. So yung prayers na lang at saka yung motivational thoughts sa wall ko yung nag So there I also put my daily schedule for the exam, my schedule subject per day, and my novena prayer before the examinations. Incorporate in your study habit study style mo. So since I'm very traditional, I put my notes on notebooks. So, three subjects for the exam day. Binded yon so that yun na lang ibabasahin ko during or before the exam itself. So, if you're more of a visual or auditory type of learner, incorporate, make visual aids, and listen to videos when you study. It will also increase your retention if you know which style works best for you. Keep a study group that can help you mentally, physically, and emotionally. You will go through a roller coaster ride. So find people you can enjoy the ride with and make you sane. So this time, Zoom meetings are very handy. Scheduled group reviews online are very helpful. So make use of that. So respect everyone's journey. What works for you may not work for them. But remember not to let go with each other as you go through the journey. So motivate one another and have fun. So this was during our mastery period. And kaka-master na, natulog na lang siya. Minamaster na daw niya sa dreams niya. So some of my batchmates put them on bond paper and pasted them on the walls. So very classic board exam technique for high yield information. This can be done as well if it works for you. But our study group, we tried but we preferred a clean room and walls so that our minds will be clear up whenever we're in the condo. So what we did was... We visited our other friends' condo. So, nakikiaral na lang kami sa walls nila and nakikipicture. These were only the high yield na pinost namin sa wall kasi alitang luto kami sa menstrual cycle and we also keep the cutie chemo man for the anti-neoplastic toxicities. So, may one question naman na naka-help sa amin na sagutan siya. So, find your study group but don't forget that your batchmate can help you as well. On the materials that you will be using, you will be bombarded with a lot of sources and what to read. But what worked for me, I focused on one material to finish so that I know I have covered everything. So, I focused on top-notch review materials, handouts, and pearls. Primarily, then incorporated those with the review books as I go along in the way. So you cannot really finish everything but make sure to finish something. So another bonus tip, even the clothes that I brought for the whole review were just plain shirts, hoodies, and pants so that I did not have to think on what to wear. So saves a lot of time. What to read? What were the review materials, resources, books, board review series that I studied on? So the information you have read every time you did advanced reading for pretest, those clinical cases you reported, when you have an ad con, and the things that you studied for the past five years are of great investment. You have graduated doctor of medicine, hence you have what it takes to be a doctor. So last step na lang your license and go get that. If you want to achieve excellence, you can get there today. As of this second, quit doing less than excellent work. So I had this app which shares daily motivational quotes like this and I alarm them to appear first thing in the morning when I wake up so that I feel inspired and motivated before I study. So it really helped me a lot, especially during lazy, tired, and rainy days, mga bad weather days. So as mentioned, I focused primarily and tried to finish all handouts and pearls from Top Notch. So these were my priority because I could no longer go back to the books or transcriptions in the medical school. So these are what I want to finish so I can at least cover or have something of everything. So this I believe you already have and read during clinicals, the I Am Platinum, um, OB Gold, Pediatric Summaries, um, digging the bones from biochemistry, but focus on the board correlates part of the internal medicine platinum. So it's at the back of this um, book. 
So, very high yield siya for me. Not claiming as well that these are also high yield, but for me, these were some of the review books that I've read and incorporated in my studying, which were suggested by my seniors as well and batchmates. So, these are pre-test, pediatrics, BRS, physiology, this um, Robins and Cotran review of pathology and the upside review for surgery. So, since there are so many review books, I tried to narrow down them to my weaknesses na subject so I can reiterate and gain more information from the subject aside from the main reviewers. So, very personal din yung choices na mga to on what to read and what else to review. Know your strengths and weaknesses sa mga subjects. So, yung mga weaknesses ko, yun yung mas nag-incorporate ako ng mga board review books na mas aaralin. So, keep abreast as well with the current health news and guidelines. Minsan, mayroon din daw na lumilitaw. So, just browse through the basics and updates. So, just browse through the basics and updates from DOH or WHO. So, updated din dapat yung group chat nyo and other sources. But remember that not all you need to study. Marami silang isesend, madami silang ipapabasa sa iyo. Remember to just speak and study at your own risk. No assurance that they will come out from the exam, but still additional information and knowledge. So basa lang ng basa. Pasok lang ng pasok. So avail din ng mga mnemonics and reviewers ng iba. This can help you memorize information faster. So I don't have Twitter back then, but I followed this hashtag Hashtag BLE2019 So I'm updated with the batchmates That I have as well Or those who are also in the same journey as mine So claiming it early on their names Saka may kasabay ka na rin sa kaba if ever So panic sila Kung panic ka din Learn sila So learn ka na din So through those days I read, I highlighted I wrote down my notes So that's how I basically uh, learn. I don't know how to draw, but I made diagrams which I can easily correlate and remember my notes on. So I made it in such a way that I could connect and understand the process to help me remember it more. So I did this in pharmacology and microbiology and parasitology. I took photos as well and screenshots of the tables that I wanted to remember and compiled them in one album thinking that I can review them while in the van or while waiting for the exam during the exam day. So, very thinking ahead ka rin dapat. Medyo OA din. So, this I will share with you will be about the typical 24-hour review day. So, these are some of our interns from Jose Bilingad. Uh, so, my schedule was really structured and my planner self had this um, daily schedule look so stiff but very flexible naman. I try to meet the requirements for the sample exams which I do before starting my review in the morning or during lunch break. At least each day, I get to practice answering with time pressure and rationalizing each choices so if possible. And yes, I live with alarms to keep me reminded when to wake up, when to study, when to eat, drink, take bath, and sleep. So, iPads and laptops beside our food and handouts whenever we eat. Sometimes for sample exams, sometimes for leisure, most of the time for social media break. Each day is an investment for the future we are preparing for. So, each day, do your best and let go of the rest. Faith more than fear. So, this is the never-ending cycle of crabs gluconeogenesis, glycolysis. So, I made use of different pens for the enzymes, substrates, and end products. I also googled images to help me simplify the diagram more so I can easily remember them. It takes time, but it's worth it. Do it in the bigger images and paste it on their walls. That can also do. For anatomy, I did not really know how to draw, so I relied on diagrams and illustrations and tried to memorize and understand them. So, those are the triangles of the neck, circle of willies, portal triad, and lobes of the liver. So, those I just really need to remember, I try to draw so that I can reinforce and inculcate them in me. Others, I just view them or just rely on the diagrams. So, more of the notes, 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 never-ending notes. So, there's my notebook which I compiled with 
three subjects for the day and then the handout from Tapnatch and diagrams that I was making for the subject. And then you will just wake up one day, good news will come and it will be all worth it. So this was from our midterm examination during the review and I got a green green one. You will know what it means when you're there already. I hope you also get that color. So the next one, may tulog po ba? Form of leisure, study breaks, stress, or how do we handle pressure? So just as we always do, we incorporate fun, joy, and learning, of course. So yeah, in post midterms, mayroong pamilk ti si Jeyus. Study break is being updated with my batchmates' mnemonics and being inspired by their post anonymously. So yun nga yung follow ko yung hashtag PLE20. So, kapit lang sa lahat ng pwedeng kapitan para pumasa. So, pati YouTube vlogs ni Doc Aura and all the videos about PLE pinanood na namin for tips. So, maybe that's the reason why I make videos about PLE since those videos have really helped me a lot conquer my anxiety, my worries, and fear. I remembered then, parang sabi din ni Jeyus nun, maggawa daw kami ng mga vlogs and videos about PLE kasi yung konti lang na makikita mo from the internet on what you can do. So, I hope this can help you too. So, priceless study breaks where we get to laugh, eat, and take rest. Doing groceries, going to the mall, or walk walking sa neighborhood to eat outside. And then, family time. Food, 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 and lots of food and rest, of course. You also have to take nap and to take rest. So, this is a picture diagram from the science of napping. So, you can do 10 to 20 minutes power nap. Pag more than that, magogrogi ka na. 60 minutes short term nap lang. And then, if you want to redeem your full REM cycle, you go for the 90 minutes. So, if you're working on your Pomodoro technique, wherein you have to study for this certain amount of time and then take short and long breaks, you can use that long break to take a nap. Rest and sleep if you must. My best form of leisure back then was this um, favorite time of the day, waiting for sunset and sunrise every day. So this roller coaster ride during our PLE 2019 exam week, Due to the pandemic, the odds are not in our favor hard, but that will make us feel better when we win. So, even with the pandemic and the restrictions, uh, I know that you can do it. Just hang on and focus on the goal. So, just continue studying. Eye on the target. Don't forget to pray and have faith in yourself. Sleep early. Wake up early. Pray for God's wisdom and grace. Know where your test site is. Come early and do not be late. Don't forget to bring your food, snacks, and drinks. So, how to be you, Podok? What is the secret to passing the board examination? I think that the secret for um, passing the board examination is when you seek and ask for the grace of God and it will be really given to you. You have long prepared for this already. I know that you can do it. So another greatest secret is my family's faith in me. Next one is also from our university, Angeles University Foundation School of Medicine. So they have already prepared us since day one of our medical school. Until our very last day of becoming a physician, they will be with us every step of the way. So you will surely experience that when it's your turn. These are some of the pictures that uh, our professors have posted when we got the 100% passing rate from the physician licensure examination in 2019. So, this was Dr. Mike with us. He visited us in our condominium. We were away from the rest of the class, but st he still made his way to visit and check on us. So, when he visited us a condo before the board examination, we asked him na parang hindi kami ready to take the exam. Madami pa po kami hindi alam. And then he replied, 
saang school ka ba? So, we answered that from AUF po. So, that visit really comforted us. So, indeed, AUF SOM has already been prepared us since day one. What's meant for you will not pass you by. Just do your best and you will have it. Claim and manifest. It will be given to you. Claim that license. So, I hope that one day you could also put smiles on your patients' faces. So, this one is a post from my mom. She said that uh, we have the gift of knowledge and a gift of wisdom that God bestowed upon us. So, this is a childhood dream that turned out to become a reality. And this is from a divine plan. So, we have uh, already um, achieved in becoming medical doctors. I hope that you will also earn your license in becoming a certified physician. May God bless you in your journey and this is just the beginning of your mission. Remember in Proverbs 22 verse 4 that by humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. And in James 4 verse 6, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. So you are the steward of life and not the owner. So always be grateful to the giver of our life and humbly ask his presence on your every Good luck on your examination. I know that you can do it. So, congratulations, doctors, for passing the physician licensure examination in September 2021. Congratulations. I'm praying for 100% for your batch, UFSOM Batch 2020.